How's it going everybody? I hope you're doing well. Right in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an extremely tasty um, Chinese dish called Yuk Sung. Now this is my take on it. It's not far off from an original recipe. Um, extremely tasty, very simple to do. So let's get into it. What will you need? So first of all I've got some toasted sesame oil there for the wok because we will be using a wok in this video ladies and gentlemen yes indeed some garlic puree now you can use garlic granules if you wish it is absolutely no problem at all I shall not be coming round your house and shouting through the letterbox probably I um, can't promise some fish, uh, fish oil or fish sauce some light soy sauce some ginger some chili flakes, Chinese five spice, some ground black pepper, salt, some water chestnuts. Now I like these kingfisher ones, they're really really good. Some mushrooms, a stick of celery, spring onions, carrots, some hoisin sauce. Oh, I've got hoisin and garlic there doesn't really matter if you can just get hoisin sauce absolutely brilliant for the meat I'm using a mix between um, beef and pork it is totally up to you you could just use beef or you could just use pork I'm having a mix of the two um, and lastly bit of a difference sometimes it's served with it and sometimes it isn't now usually you'll have what they call uh, glass noodles or starch noodles and what they do with them they take them out of the pack and pop them into a fryer and they swell up and those are the little crispy bits you get on top however if you don't want to do that you can use you know the french fries the crisps just crunch some of them up and put them on top equally as nice and cheaper and that's what I'm going to do. So there's a little little difference there. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grate uh, the carrot finely. Then I'm going to finely chop the mushroom, finely chop the celery, and finely chop the spring onion. Uh, and that's it. So let's get into it. It's me again. You know, in all the excitement, when you think to yourself, I'm missing something. I'm, I've, I've gone through all the rest and I'm missing something. You will need an iceberg lettuce. Would you believe that one of the main things that the Yuk Sung gets wrapped in? And I forgot to mention it. I'm talented like that, folks. I really am. So, you will need an iceberg lettuce. Uh, good in it, this. <laughs> Okay, so all the veggies chopped up, looking really good and smelling really good as well. So next, we're going to do the seasoning um, for the meat, obviously when it's in the wok. But the first thing I will do is uh, cook off the mints and drain off any excess fat because it's no good to man nor beast and I don't like it and there's no need for it. So I will fry off the beef first before I add the seasoning. Now, because I'm using chili flakes, I'm gonna put them in the old um, mortar, pestle and mortar, and uh, grind everything up together. So, let's get on with it, shall we? So first I'm gonna put some of these chili flakes in there, and that's totally up to you how much you put in. If you like it quite spicy, then obviously add more. Yeah, you you don't have to put the chili flakes in, but it just gives it that little extra something. So that'll do for those. Probably about two teaspoons in there. Your ginger. Well, wow, that's full, look at that. About two teaspoons, level teaspoons that is, of ginger really do love the smell of ginger. Some ground black pepper. 
about a teaspoon of that. Salt, now I've took the top off that to make it easier. And about a level teaspoon of salt. And finally, our Chinese five spice. And we're gonna put about two teaspoons of that in there. There we go, lovely. Then, we're going to get our small clubby thing and just grind up the best we can the chili flakes and just mix everything together and take a couple of minutes to do and that will be your seasoning for when the meat is fried off so I'll carry on doing this and we'll get on to the next stage which will be the wok. So, catch you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, that uh, the wok is smoking. Not too much. We don't want to set off the uh, the alarms. So I'm just going to pop that pork and beef mince in there and just fry it off and I'll uh, push the meat to one side of the wok and just get rid of that excess fat because I don't want it at all and once I've done that we'll start adding some of our spices and our veg so I'll just fry this up and uh, I will get back to you in but a minute or two. Well, to you it's next to no time. It's the instant. So, I'll just do that. And within a blink of an eye, I'm back. So, that's fried off. And I drain the excess fat off. So now, I'm going to add some of the spices. Now it depends on how much uh, of a batch that you're going to cook. Remember the difference between cooking with a wok at home and what you might find in a Chinese restaurant is uh, their burners are a lot more powerful than what your gas cooker is so it's best to do things in small batches rather than just put everything in the wok and try to do it that way because you won't really attain the flavors that you're trying to uh, achieve especially with soy sauce because the wok's got to get really hot and you sprinkle the soy sauce around the edge and that releases all the flavor so if you're going to use a wok at home just uh, do things in small batches okay so I've added some of the, the spice in there the next I'm going to add garlic puree and that's going to be about a teaspoon in there Next, I'm going to add some of the fish sauce around the outside of the wok. And that's probably about two teaspoons in there. And you'll really start to smell that there. Mixing with all the uh, other spices. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that really does smell very, very good. Okay, next I'm going to add some of our veg. I'm just going to put that in there. 
like so. In fact, I use a label. It makes things a little bit easier. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, next I'm going to add the hoisting. I'll just snip that off. This is hoisting and garlic. For um, if you can just get hoisting, then that would be excellent. Doesn't really matter. I mean, but. Ideally, just the hoisting, because you've already got garlic in there, you see. All them flavours coming together. Absolutely beautiful. And last, we will add our soy sauce around the edge. Of the wok, and that's about three teaspoons in there. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is turn the gas completely off on there and just let that sweat through a little bit. And that is your filling for the yuk sung. So we're going to let that cool down just a little bit, not too much. And then we're going to wrap these in a lettuce leaf and it'll be ready to serve. And there you go. So I'll just leave that to cool down for five minutes and then we'll start serving. So let's do that. Okay, so here we are. Let's put this together, shall we? So we've got our lettuce leaves. Now, when you get your iceberg lettuce, duh, 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 the white bit, the core, just cut around the core, pull the core out, and the leaves will just fall off. Now, this isn't a very tidy thing. It's not like if you was doing a uh, Romanian somale or anything like that. It's just put the ingredients in, wrap it up loosely, and it's one of those starters where you do get a little bit messy, so don't worry about that. So anyway, shut up Stu and get on with it. So we've got our mixture here, which I've transferred to this lovely looking tray. So I'm just going to pop a couple of pieces on there. Now, as I said earlier on, I'm going to use the uh, French fries, uh, ready salted French fries. Now, if you wanted to really, really go for it, um, you can use the glass, what well, they're called glass noodles, Chinese noodles, or um, uh, starch noodles, and you just get a small pan with a little bit of oil, bring it to temperature, and drop the noodles in, and they puff up, 
and it's become really, really crispy. Now this dish really, to be honest, is all about texture. Uh, it, it, it really is. Everything that's gone into there, the water chestnuts, the carrots, it's all about texture. Now adding these, which is an easier option, is absolutely fine. And to be honest, I I I I, <laughs> I prefer just they just crunch them up, mate. See that nice crunchy um, texture. So anyway, so let's get some of these and just crunch them up. like so onto there doesn't have to be perfect it is a starter then you just fold it wrap it <laughs> it's not tidy in any way shape or form and just there you go and you serve it <laughs> like so Let's do another one. Let's do another one just for giggles. And it's one of those starters that you, you get. It's just so tasty. I could actually eat these on their own. See, this is what I like about doing this. It's not like you know these professional chefs things that you see and it's just like me and you I'm in the kitchen doing this and you're in front of me and we're just chatting and carrying on and there you go and that's all it is it's not tidy it's not pretty but my goodness it's tasty that'll be a nice one Let's do this one. So you get some. All the noodles, the glass noodles if you want to. And there you go. So all you do, you just I do I don't have to do anything with that. Because whoever picks it up will just fold it like that and bite into it and there you go and it is easy as that extremely tasty extremely simple to do and that's my take on Chinese yuk song really really good so if you've liked this video click like even better click subscribe it would mean the world to me and I will catch you on the next video I'll catch you later folks